Welcome into the John Stoltrager Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with John Stoltrager, head coach of the men's and women's programs. And coach, you guys head up to Wilkesbury for the Diamond Invitational and uh, have some pretty solid performances there. Yeah, it was it was a really good meet. I think, um, you know, some of our kids did personal bests, which is you know always what you're shooting for. But more than anything, you know, they they swam fast and they swam against kids that were rested, shaved, and tapered, and we weren't. We had a, a short two day rest, which means that they didn't swim in the afternoon on Thursday. They didn't do a lift on Friday, and we just went in there and 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 saw what we could do. And some differences from this meet versus some of the other meets that we've had, um, it's a two-day meet, which is unique for the, the other meets in the season. Yeah, it's a two-day meet, so it's set up like your conference championship. Um, so the events are the same, um, and you swim a session on Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, and then Sunday morning. And again, it's designed to kind of teach your body how to do a cha championship format, which some of the freshmen have never done before. Mm -hmm. So, you know, again, it's it's a great learning experience for the kids and, and a great opportunity for them to to race some fast kids. And let's talk a little bit about the philosophy of it being shaved and tapered. Our team did not do that. And what is the motive or for not doing that this weekend? Um, the big thing for me is, you know, I want my kids to get up and go and swim fast against those kids that are shaved and tapered. If you can do a lifetime best, if you can keep up with these kids that are shaved and tapered uh, and suited, um, then when we shave, taper, and suit up, it's going to be a huge advantage for us, both uh, physically and mentally. So if you can keep up with a suited kid, you're, you're doing pretty well. And you mentioned it. We did get some personal bests out of this weekend in uh, some events. Yeah, we did. We had, um, you know, Julie. She did a personal best in her fifty free. Natalie did her personal best in her two back. So, uh, again, we saw some kids, you know, really swim fast and and really got after it, which which is what you're looking for. You're looking for, you know, the kids to to again race those kids that are suited. And you talked about it a little bit before we went on air. Um, you're off this weekend, and then you get into the most grueling stage of your your season before the MAC tournament or MAC meet in February. Yeah, our we we really shift gears after Thanksgiving. This is truly the only holiday that the kids get. Um, after after Thanksgiving, we'll be back. Um, we'll swim through finals, and then we'll actually stay after finals for another week, and then they're home for for Christmas, and then they're back up here like the 27th, 28th, and then we're doubling. We're doubling mm -hmm. every single day. We'll do four hours a day. That is that is a lot of time in the pool. It's a whole lot of time in the pool, and actually um, we'll also be lifting. So, you know, mm -hmm. MC will get to see us a lot over, over that Christmas break, and, um, you know, then we'll taper off into our conference meet. Well, we hope all that hard work will pay off when we get into February for you guys. Uh, it will definitely pay off. I mean, the kids will put in the work, and, you know, I really feel that they're, you know, buying into our system and, and what we're trying to do here. And, you know, in February, we will definitely surprise some people. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time. Enjoy this holiday off, and good luck in the rest of the season. All right, thank you very much. He's John Stoltrager. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the John Stoltrager Show. Happy Thanksgiving.